in this video i will be discussing on how to simulate the arp protocol using cisco packet tracer arp that is address resolution protocol is a network layer protocol that helps in getting the mac address of the system whenever you know the ip address so let's start the demonstration for simplicity i will be taking only two nodes that is pc not and pc1 and a switch give the connection i am taking copper straight through cable okay so here i am considering pc not is the system which is going to ping to pc1 pc1 not knows the knows the destination ip address of the pc1 and it wants to know the mac address so arp protocol will help in that so just i will take a note here the ip address for this system let it be 172.168.3.4 which is class b ip address similarly for this node 172.168.5.1 any number you can give not a problem okay it's still configuring let it configure I will set the IP address now. 172.168.3.4 is the source IP address. Go to IP configuration. Just type 172.168.3.4. So default mask will come here. And similarly, you can write here 172.168.5.1. 5.1. So now I have set the PC not and PC one IP addresses. Okay. Now what I will do? I will just I just want to know that is PC not wants to know the MAC address of PC one because PC not knows the IP address of PC one that is 172.168.5.1 but it doesn't know what is its MAC address. Okay, if you want, you can check the ARP table of this one. For that, what you can do? Two ways are there. One directly using the inspect type icon, you can check the ARP table, or using command prompt, you can check. Both I will show. So just click on the inspect element, click on this PC node, check the ARP table. It is empty because still I have not requested any destination node for MAC address. Okay. I will just minimize it. This is for PC not. Similarly, you can check for PC one. It will be empty only. You can check even this is also empty. IP address it is not responded to any of the nodes. So this is PC one. Both are empty. The other way I told you, you can check even through command prompt also. Just click on PC not, go to command prompt, and you can just type ARP space hyphen A. Click enter. You can see no ARP entries are found. Same thing you can do for this also. Command prompt. Just type ARP space hyphen A. So no entries are found. No ARP entries found. So now what I will do? I will just ping a message from. PC not to PC one to get its MAC address. So for that, what you can do? Just start the simulator. I will just open the simulation panel. This is what my simulation panel. So now I will just try to ping uh, the no, uh, request from PC not to PC one. So click on the PC not. Go to command prompt. Just ping to this destination node. What is my destination IP address? 
172.168.5.1 just put it down 172.168.5.1 okay enter then automatically you can see two nodes here are two packets one is icmp packet the other one is the arp packet okay so now i will send a request to pc1 to get its mac address so just click on the play button so the request will go to now switch that is arp request from there it goes to pc1 so now pc1 will give the its mac address to pc not via switch that request has come now you can see the table entries it is automatically updating next icmp message will go now to check whether everything is happened fine or not that is icmp message after that it will give the acknowledgement back to the pc not that everything is fine you can see the all the table entries are getting now now pc not got the mac address of the destination node okay So acknowledgement has got. Just I will stop this one later. Okay. Now you can see the table entries automatically. Uh, the destination IP address is what 172.168.5.1. So the MAC address is automatically we got. So if you want, you can just check check the ARP table once again. I will just make new. Go again to PC not, and then see again ARP hyphen E and click enter. You can see the destination IP address is 172.168.5.1, and its MAC address is so and so. So I received the MAC address of the destination node. So in this way, the ARP protocol will fetch the MAC address of the node, and it will send to the requested node. Okay, hope so you understood. Uh, even you can see here the. ARP table entries also filled with the IP address and the corresponding MAC address. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Bye.